Hey, uh, Chocolat, Vanilla, the bus ready. Hey, Chocolat, Vanilla. Okay, they are already asleep. Mm. Must I guess that they were playing all day after all. I looked at their sleeping faces while they snored away on the sofa. I haven't had much time for them up until now, huh? I knew that they were more attached to me than Shigura. But for the past few months I had been getting ready to move. I was so focused on myself that I didn't have time to play with them. Uh, I am really surprised things have gone this far. When I first took them home, I had never imagined any of this happening. Owning my own shop one day and having these to follow after me. And then ending up in this sort of relationship with them. Uh, but thanks to them, every day is fun. I place my hand gently on their precious cheeks. Preparations finished. I'll help to. I finished all the preparations for tomorrow. It's fine. Just go back to sleep. I patted the heads of two of my two sleepy cat girls. I set them back down on the sofa as they uh, tried to get up. Today really was uh, fun. Chocola is really happy that you remembered. I was saying that we wanted to go there, Masta. Going to the amusement park and aquarium for the first time was a lot of fun. We got to take lots of pictures together too. It will be a wonderful memory. With a kind and gentle smile, they lowered their gazes as if savoring the bliss. Thank you very much, Masta. Chocolat loves you. Oh my god. Yes! I am thankful too. Sick it, cats! No, oh my god. She couldn't have a little late dance on my shoulders. After touching my cheeks with the soft lips, I had a lot of fun too, thanks. I gave each of them a kiss on the forehead. Ah, oh, Chocolat really loves you, Masta. Just being together like this makes my heart race. My chest feels warm, Masta. Mm, I understand, my heart is racing too. Masta, my body feels a bit restless. I was pressed between two sets of sultry eyes. I'm not so oblivious that I didn't know what they were getting at. Still in heat, huh? They both shook their hands, heads silently. Chukula thinks this doesn't have anything to do with her being in heat. Chukula just loves Masta so much, so much that she wants to have fun! For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! I won't pronounce it, man. For fuck's sake! Chukula was taught that she must be mo modest while studying for the bell test. But is this okay? No! No! Chukula. When I'm in heat, it feels like my body is forcing me to be lured. But this time, it feels like my heart is making my body lured. I heard that it's normal to have. Oh! After going on a date, if you like them. Oh! Oh! No! 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 I, I don't want to think of that shit, man! That are children! 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 You love us, right, Masta? Vanilla. She spoke smoothly as she lured me in with her soft and central gaze. Um, do you really think you even need to ask at this point? I love, I love both of you. On to her small thin lips. 
I then pla place lover's kiss. <laughs> That's just like Masta. You are so pretentious, even though you are never honest. They both embrace me tightly in satisfaction. Then let's let us do today, okay? No! We're going to pay you back. No! 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 Please just skip the shit! Please just skip the shit game! Please! Please! Please, I have to send that version. Please skip the shit. Yeah, come on. Yes! Yes, man! Yes, man! Yes! Yes! Yes, we didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, don't see it. My master, we are able to satisfy you. <laughs> yes! We are both of us! <laughs> able to act like proper companions on the end of our dates! Yeah, both Sukulai and Vidula were very cute. Yeah, yeah! Oh, that's great, then. Mm, if master is satisfied, then we are happy. Mostly talking in the sleep. The bird and rubbed the cheeks against me, and as I also drifted off into slumber. I continued to pet them gently on the head. Well, we will take, that, take a bath together tomorrow when we wake up. I'll wash your hair and body is clean your balls! Oh my god, what did you do? Oh my god, man! Man! Kashu! Kashu! What did you do? Fuck, on the heads! Oh my god, on, the, on their hair, you know. Chukula is so happy, a bus to get I'd like you to dry my hair after all, too. Yeah, of course. I'll brush it too. I'm so happy being treated so dearly by my star. The happiness of not only being a house cat girl, but also a cat penguin. Alright, mumbles uh, as mumbles spilled from the lips. Their voices trailed off for making it sound like they were talking in their sleep. I gently embraced both of their heads, whispering into their ears with all my heart. Let's do our best together, I'm the three of us. Yes, Masta, Chocolate and Vanilla. Yes, it will be always so fun and happy. Yeah, we will have fun and we will be so happy. We will have fun underlined, 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 man. I made that promise to my beloved cat penions. At some point I melted into this blissful moment and drifted off to sleep. Oh my god. Hey, my arms are going mum numb here. Yeah. The next day. It's from overwork for now you need to let your body rest. What? Overwork! Plus night overwork! What? When you said Nisama seemed odd, I flew over here to see what was the matter. Ah, oh, Nisama, just what am I supposed to do with you, for heaven's sake? Sitting next to the bed, she grew a little of this, a big sigh. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sai, how, how. What's that? More formally, it's called chronic fatigue, but um, to put it simply, it's what happens when your body is too tired. But you were so energetic up, out, up until yesterday. When you become overtired, you can actually stop noticing how exhausted you are. You mean, if you get tired, you become energetic? Then... What? For the record, it's not what you two are thinking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Last night! Ooh, 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 ooh. Just chill around. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I mean, that's what the Saint Nicola is thinking about. I think it's the fault of the person who causes misunderstandings. No. No, no. We can discuss Nisama's prowess later. 
But for now, we should get him to a clinic. Uh, wait, wait a minute, what's, what's that casual little remark just now? Nisama, I said I love you. It was just my usual whisper of love. Some vegetarian fell out of Shigura's sleeve. If a vegetarian, yeah, it's super vegetarian. Oh, my, please excuse me. Just why did you bring that fatty tuna with you? She's clearly ready for everything. The two drooling cat girls behind her were ready for everything to end anything too. Yeah, I do, I do, do I have it? No choice but to stop hiding things from Shigura. You know, a seriousness, though depending on how bad she is, he might need to, to be hospitalized. It doesn't matter how young you are or how much stamina you have, chronic fatigue destroys your ability to recover. Hey, don't make a fuss because just because I can't get up. I'm not going to lose to close the shop just because I'm a little dizzy. Where at the crucial time so clientele increasing at all. Forget the store. You keep this if you keep this up, you could die, you know. Oh, I die? She, she's just lying. No, of course you can die if you're uh, over fat fatigued or outsnaked. <laughs> if you die, you make your will close forever. Do you want it? Master, you can't die. I'm your absolutely can't. No, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. We can die together. I don't want to be a windowed, widowed cat girl. Master, you can't. She was angry. She was clearly angry. From my experience, she girl was at her most upset when she smiled while again angry. Even the cat girls themselves seem pretty serious too. You guys say the scariest things sometimes. I'm merely stating objective fact. Well, it's fine when you summarize part of his life, it won't be far behind him. She said that without missing a beat, smiling as usual. Uh, please stop with jokes like that. How do you understand where our concern is coming from? I guess. You'll get some rest then, right? Uh, would you prefer to be forced into an ambulance? At my vague reply, her face started getting closer and closer. The pressure from her smile was terrifying! At this point, I didn't seem to have a choice. Got it, so be a good boy and get some sleep. That's definitely better than being hospitalized. Hi. That's right. I like it when Nisama gives in to reason. Although when Nisama doesn't give in, that's good in a way too. Blush! Cut it out, sorry. I already said it'd be good and get so sleek. Shigura gave a satisfied nod at my answer. At least for today, I'd give in. Plus, it was true that I couldn't work like this. Must I alright? Must I you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. There's no point in making this much of a fuss. No, that's really Oh my god. Then that's good. It's not, not like that. And this is not a baby pocket No it's not. My master has some pain, you yawn and switch to relax and keep you. What? 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 What's going on? Um, well, I wasn't really gonna say anything, don't worry about it. The longer string of yawns was surreal. I guess it was pretty calming, I felt some muscles loosening up. It was like some sort of tension was dra draining from me. Chocola, vanilla, could you close up shop for me? Yes, leave it to chocolate. Oh my god. We are used to, to doing normal work tasks. Okay. Cat girls have some interesting behaviors, don't they? It's easy to remember that cat girls really are just cats when you live with them. 
Oh, my deep stem. How brazen of you. They are foot you. Oh, you are not even strong enough to retort something back at me. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this, this glance of terror. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, um, it's nothing good. It means nothing good for me. You are so persistent. Or oh, persistent. It's because I love you, Nisama. I really can't understand your definition of love. It's been like this ever since she was born. Oh, joking aside, though. Why did you push yourself this far? You of all people should know your own body limits. Your own body limits. You said it yourself that if you get too tired, you don't notice it, right? You should have noticed before that. Don't try to await the question. She sat up straight and started, stared at me intensely. We waited in silence for a while, yet she still stared at me without budging an inch. Seeing her persistence, I decided to give in and surrender out with a sir. It's been because I thought that I had to work harder. I murmured, leaning my head back to the pillow and looking at the ceiling. Recently, I went on a date with chocolate and vanilla. Yes, we know that. It was then that um, it struck me. They, they are not just pets, but family, lovers even. So I didn't want them to have to work hard because of my choice to leave home. Which will happen anyway if you push yourself too hard and collapse. Well, it's your own fault. Our clientele increased so much. Ah, uh, just uh, what um, might you been talking about? I decided not to press further. She got smiled slightly and turned her head in response. If she was going to address that issue honestly, I would already have done so by now. That's how she grew had always been. I understand what you are saying, Sama. Not good girls are clever, clever enough to become family and even lovers to humans. And that's exactly why she took a deep breath and looked at me with a kind of troubled smile. I think there would be a feeling of sadness to, uh, to not be relied upon. Her smile st stabbed at my heart. Those were words Chukulain Vanilla would say about me. Now I'm sure that these were Shigura's words too. Her smile pierced me and my words were trapped in my throat. Which isn't to say I don't like seeing Nisama working hard and taking things in stride too. I wish you'd say that I'm worthy of being relied upon. Do you think someone who pushes themselves until they drop can't be relied upon? Oh, Nisama, you've always tried to do everything yourself even when you were little. She spoke as if she were indulging a child's tantrum. Sitting next to me, she placed her small hand on my cheeks, my cheek, and ever so slightly closed her eyes. Her slender small hands' warmth was so gentle and loving. The stiffness in my shoulders seemed to melt away. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mom, that's my phone. She looked at her phone and followed her brows. Brows, yeah. When she could just sat uh, there motion motionlessly, I could pretty much fig figure out who it was. It's from home, right? You should answer. I don't need to answer to know what they want. I was without saying where I was going. Um, the cell phone she goes and stopped ringing. She felt silent and gripped the cell phone tightly. Is it because I'm still a young girl? Of course it is, man! Oh, it's because I'm naive to the world. Is that why I must do what mother and father asked me of me? Both? Yeah. I want to be here. When Isama is suffering, at the very least, let me by his side. Um, you have to go to the school. How about this? To be with him as a little sister, as family, is that not allowed? 
She spoke in a lonely, frustrated voice with her face downturned. Her voice sounded soft, but was filled with a firm desire. Ah, you're so sudishy, girl. Who cares whether you're allowed to or not? I sat up and wrapped my arms around the girl's shoulders. The girl let herself rest, her head on my chest. I promised I'd look after myself and I will. Plus, chocolate and vanilla are here, so the three of us will be fine. You said it earlier yourself, remember? I whispered as gently as I could near the girl's ear. For her to be so attached to me, it honestly made me really happy. That was exactly why. I didn't want the girl to be as clumsy as I was. The fact was that the girl was still a child and she still needed that family of yours, of ours, yeah. She didn't need me leading her astray. If they found out you came here, you'd never be able to come back, right? It couldn't be her if that happened. Really? Of course. Why would I lie about that? What a very Misama way of persuading people. Uh, small shoulders look. Uh, w her small shoulders look shook happily. Okay, I probably didn't have to tell my pre pre precocious little sister, but she still gave a small nod at my words. I'll come again tomorrow to make it up to you. Okay. Because I'm the only person that can take care of Misama. Okay, just please don't go overboard. She hugged me tighter and placed her cheek on my chest. She girl was the same as chocolate and vanilla. Keeping those words to myself, I hugged her back. She got chan and must start cuddling. Having us go clean up and then doing things like this, how dastardly. <laughs> this is a little sister special, right? You know? Chocolate wants to rub with Master too. Rub, rub, please. It I too must get in on this big wave. Come, Master, rub me too. <laughs> Why did the three of you at once to have you? Absolutely. It's impolite to tell a lady that she is having you some. We are all related to light, so we should be fine. This is the way of our love. She's so fast through it, my star. Wait, I'm not a sick person here. The way of love from the three of them gave no mercy. Um, Chocolate also loves you, Lisa Ma, I love you, I might also moderately love you. 